Hi there. Um, if you're new here, my name is Shema Magdi and I love making videos. So welcome. Um, I've been actually very nervous to do this video just because I have this irrational fear of how people are going to judge my English accent and my English speaking abilities. Um, so I'm bilingual. My native language is Egyptian Arabic and I've only just learned English through my education and reading lots of novels. As you can see, that's my beloved library. Ta-da! Yeah, I love it very much. So I just found it interesting if I challenge my fear and do a whole video in English and maybe just see how people are going to react and respond to it. Hopefully it's going to be um, a positive response. So there's always been this very interesting topic to me is whether the language you speak actually, actually shapes your personality. So as you can see, I'm a bilingual person and that just personally like um, is relevant to me. So when I got deeper into the topic and when I read more about it, I found that So basically, after I read from several resources, I found that when simple social conducts or when simple social experiments were made with bilingual people and they were asked if you do feel a difference between speaking one language and the other, they will most probably admit to it and say, yes, I do feel a difference when I speak my native language or when I speak the other one. So, for example, if a bilingual person speaks both English and Spanish, he would say when I speak English, I feel like I'm very calm and I'm very polite and I'm very businessman like. But when I speak Spanish, I feel more outgoing and I feel more uh, witty and I feel more, you know, lively. So such like such responses spiked the interest of scientists and researchers and they decided to look more into it, but more scientifically. So surveys and studies were made on several subjects to see how the results would actually come out. So around that time when scientists were interested in the matter, a professor called Susan Irvin Tripp conducted a study or an experiment on a group of Japanese American women. She gave them a sentence and asked them to complete the same sentence once in their native language and once in American language. So the sentence was as following. When my wishes were conflicted with my family, blank, and she left the rest for them. One subject completed the sentence with, uh, it will be a great time of unhappiness in Japanese. And when spoken in American language, she, sa she said, I will do what I want. So as you can see, it's the same sentence, the same subject, but different endings proposed. About 40 years later, a professor called David Luna and his colleagues decided to do a similar experiment of similar basics. But this time it was done on Hispanic American women. He got a bunch of advertisements targeting women and asked the subjects if they could explain the advertisements once in their native language and another time in American language with a six time month in between. So the first time when he asked the women to explain the advertisements in their language, Spanish, they said that women were portrayed as outgoing and self-sufficient and independent. But six months later, when he got them back to explain the same advertisements, but in English language, they said that women were portrayed more like codependent and family oriented females. So again, it's different interpretations, though the, um, the material is the same and the subjects are the same. So after too many books read and after too many experiments done, one researcher has from psychology today and i will link her article down below got to the conclusion of maybe it's not really the personality that changes but the cultural background that comes with the personality so for example when you learn a new language 
you come with a certain image of it and you get to associate it with certain behaviors and certain manners that have to do with the culture of the language. And for example, when certain articles were written about bicultural, bilingual people, they said that they didn't feel like personality changed, but all at the same time, the way they talk changed, like when they spoke each language, just because it was a different situation and it was a different context, not because the personality actually did change. I personally, I am a bilingual person and the, the English language I, I learned, I learned it through education and novels and watching lots of videos and watching lots of movies. And I guess I find it convincing that my personality didn't really change, but I do feel different. Like when I speak English language, I'm more outgoing and I'm more outspoken and, and even I feel more confident. But when I speak Arabic, I'm a little bit more shy and reserved and conserved. And that somehow does convey different cultures. So when I watch English videos or English speakers, I feel like they're more outspoken and more outgoing. But in my culture, it's not really a thing. Like uh, girls are just mostly shy and reserved. So I guess I do find it convincing that just the different, the difference in, in manners b between speaking one language and the other is not really a change in personality, just a change in, in how you convey or portray that certain language through words. So that's not just, just the only interpretation for whether your personality changes with the language you speak. There's another one. Um, other scientists, and uh, that was like in the 21st century, conducted a survey on almost 1,000 subjects, bilingual subjects. And this survey had questions that had to do with personality. It was, it was really just um, scoring their big five personality qualities. It was related to the big five personality test. And the big five personality test is like um, a personality test that tells what kind of personality you have through five main qualities, agreeableness, um, neuroticism and conscientiousness and openness and extroversion. So those are the five qualities that you're basically assessed upon. So when those bilingual people like took the test in English, they scored little less than they did it in Spanish. So they were more extroverted, more open, and more conscientiousness when they did it in Spanish. So that was a weird difference. And if that tells you one thing, that there's actually a personality change. And that just differs from the first interpretation of, it's not a personality change, you're the same person, you're the same personality, it's just a difference in context and difference in situation and difference in the cultural background that comes with that personality itself. I myself find it very convincing, the first one, that it's not a personality change. I find it um, such a big assumption that your personality does change when you change languages, because that would mean that you have multiple personalities within you. But at the end of the day, there's no definite answer to the question, whether language actually shapes your personality or not. As you can see, there's different interpretations and different studies and different books were made on the subject. And it just comes down to what you find convincing more. Um, and a very interesting question, if you were convinced with the latter or with the other interpretation that you actually does change with the language you speak, which one is your true personality? Like if your personality does change when you speak English and it's different when you speak the other language, who really are you? And I'll leave that question to you. Maybe, maybe you're finding it interesting enough to look it up more. As usual, I'll leave all the links and resources down in the description below. I hope you enjoyed the video and 
have a nice day. Bye.